Carro. Hello my Aries friends, it's Guiding Halo and this is going to be a reading for you for December 7th to 31st about what Spirit wants you to know. So first of all we have the inflow of abundance here, absolutely beautiful energy. Eager beaver, eager to get things going and hoping someone will lift you up. So this Ace of Pentacles, the inflow of abundance, a promising business venture, important documents or contracts are going to need to be signed. And I really feel that it's a, a hope for equal reciprocity, gifts of time, effort, or money coming to you from the divine. And in some way, you had to get a broken heart in order to get this. There's something to do with how this is coming to you. It's coming to you through a broken heart, but it's something that you took control over. Aries, that's your energy. You took control over something, even though it broke your heart to do it. Structure, logic, and discipline. Taking action. Absolutely. Yep, that's the way I see that. And we have a wish granted. When I'm tuned into the energy of abundance, I become abundant. It seems to me that you've been through a whole hell of a lot lately, whoever this is, because you're rising as the phoenix. Resurrection, surrender to the changes coming your way. Now, we have the world card here, which is the end of a cycle. So, a job well done, joy, contentment, and gratitude, the path towards enlightenment. It's like a new portal opening for you to manifest new things in your life. However, that being said, you're lacking clarity about how to move forward in certain circumstances, wanting to move away from rough waters to calmer waters, take all your swords of knowledge with you, your children, and and start new and fresh and there is a wish granted coming here where that's concerned could have something to do with a piscean energy stepping in to help you in some way could be financially the equal reciprocity mm, you'll have to take it how it resonates here let's pull an extra card i'm being led to pull an extra card for this wish granted something you've wanted for quite some time is coming to fruition this moving away from the rough waters to calm waters lack of clarity there's indecision uh unable or unwilling to make a decision about something but it seems to me that decision's been made because you're moving away or you're going to very quickly here Confusion. Yeah, we're getting confusion. Lots of opportunities. Confusion about what's going to fill your heart most. Look at that. We're going to use the Ace of Pentacles to clarify the Nine of Cups. I think there's confusion about how anything can look positive right now amongst all of the gloomy that you've been through. I'm getting that totally from somebody. When I'm tuned into the energy of abundance, I become abundant. So remember that tuning into the energy of abundance, which is about being grateful for what you have, for the people in your life, the things coming around. Yeah, it could be a Virgo coming around. There's a Virgo, possibly someone very wise coming around, could be going inward to find out what this means to you and looking at where you've been, where you're at now, and which way you're gonna head forward. Taking this star card of hope and heal, or star here from the star card of hope and healing to head forward and be the light in your lantern. This is also tells me that you need to be the light and lantern possibly for others. Once you go through this and figure out what's going on and have learned, you need to be that light and lantern for others. If you are a Virgo out there in the world, there could be an Aries that really needs your help right now. Yep, could be. Let's read the Phoenix card, shall we? Eager Beaver wanting to get started on the brand new card number 29. As an ally, the Phoenix appears as your ally to celebrate your journey and to assure you ultimate success. Someone could also be getting a new job after you took control of a situation or something that broke your heart to do so just saying this is a job could be home it's something that's going to bring in the inflow of abundance anyway sorry 
This is true even if it appears that you've just passed through metamorphical experience or death or are currently enduring a perception of failure in your life. Death and rebirth are related when you enter the realm of the phoenix. Seen in this light, nothing truly dies, but rather changes from one ending directly into a new beginning. The phoenix is currently reinventing itself and rises up whole and new and even more powerful with every death it experiences. This could signal an end of a relationship or a or of a dynamic within one or end of a job a project or even a life perhaps no failure is involved but it's time for a complete overhaul of your circumstances you may be tired of what you're doing or you may know intuitively that it's time to move on and try something new whatever the case a death of the old and a celebration of new life are called for whatever you do now will indeed be a successful endeavor for a rebirth is imminent as a challenger, when the phoenix challenges you, it's a really just a gentle reminder to let go and let what doesn't work fall away. Maybe you're not allowing things to change because you're most comfortable with the familiar, even if you know that it's not the best you could create for yourself. Fear of change is a crippling experience. As it works against nature itself, the task at hand is to allow for an ending, as is timely and right that you do so for the highest good of all. In surrendering to the fundamental purposeful change, you will most definitely find yourself in better circumstances. The action needed is allowing. A rebirth is assured. How beautiful is that? Wowzas. So you got two new starts. Could be you tried to start something new. Hoped for a gift of time, effort, money, it broke your heart. But I'm seeing that this new start, you're moving at the end of a cycle, start of a new one. Lack of clarity about how to move away from it all, how to let it all go. But there is a wish granted coming yet again in the form of another Ace of Pentacles. And that's why it talks about an ending and right after that ending, a new start happening. I pulled you a card from Work Your Light Oracle. Let's see what's happening here. We have Star Mother. How can you mother yourself? Hmm. You are more held than you could possibly imagine, loved and cherished so dearly that if you knew you would not spend one second of your life in separation, worry, or fear. Let the mother carry your burdens. Let her rock away your fears. This is talking about, you know, you mothering yourself, right? The divine mothering you. Lay all your worries, regrets, shame, and guilt on her altar. Please, please, sweet child, do not fear. You are love in motion. If you allow it, you are already healed. Let her remind you of your goodness. Let her love away your fears. Your capacity to love and hold others is limited to your capacity to love and hold yourself. Be compassionate with your sweet body, mind, and soul. Treat yourself like the beautiful spirit that you truly are. Remind yourself that you are doing your best and try not to carry it all on your own. You have got this, and the mother has got you. Let her broad arms take away your burdens. Let her lift the weight of the world off your shoulders. Forgive yourself, my dear sweet child of the earth. How can you mother yourself? Work your light inquiry. Hmm. Beautiful. So it's about understanding that it's time to parent yourself. How would you parent your child? It's time to parent yourself the same way. And understand that that guidance coming to you is from the divine who is trying to mother you into a place of beauty in your life and abundance. Got him. Ha <laughs> ha. Look at that. You got him. Yep. Last one. Beautiful. <laughs> My Aries friends, you're going to squash some shit. Just saying. All right. <clears throat> Anywho, don't mind Halo's potty mouth there. Best advice from the angels. I bring you a message from your deceased loved one. I am happy at peace and I love you very much. Please don't worry about me. If someone has lost their mother, she will be there to help mother you through this situation and hold you tight. Look at that. Hold you tight. Time out. You've been so busy taking care of everyone else's needs, but now it's time to stop and take care of yourself. Your desired outcome will occur in the very near future. Have patience and faith and don't try and force it to happen. I'm the angel of abundance. You will receive the money that you need. God is in charge of how that will happen. Have faith. It seems to me that there's a new start coming for you. From the divine at the hands of a passed over loved one who's trying to bring it forward to help you see it through. I hope this message resonates for you guys and I will talk to you again soon. Blessings.